Welcome back. Now we're looking at some water that's going to boil this distilled water in this round bottom flask, just normal distilled tap water. We will see in a moment that it's slightly warm. I'm going to connect it now to a vacuum pump so that we can change the pressure inside the flask. Sorry, you can't see it. I was standing at a bad angle. It's also very difficult to do. So we will fast forward and see me having done that. And here we are back. So what we're going to do is gradually pump the pressure down. You can see now that the temperature on this thermometer is about 40 degrees, almost exactly. Zooming back out and pumping down. It's at uh, one atmosphere, so a thousand. We're gonna go down to um, gradually in hundreds of millibar. So it's a thousand millibar at the moment, pumping down. Um, I'm doing hand signals, so it's a little bit random. You can see that as I pump down, it starts to get misty. So at the top of the flask, there are droplets of water that appear as it starts pumping down. And there's my first hand signal of 600 millibar. So we've pumped about half of the air out and you can see that it's gone cloudy at the top of the flask where water's pumping out in there. Whoops, evaporating and condensing. Five, so we've gone down to 500. Nothing is still happening. That's unsurprising. Four, we're going down. So the pressure in the top of the flask is going down and down and nothing exciting is happening as one would expect. What we're interested in here is that the boiling point of water is not a magic number. It's when the pressure of the water is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere. So if we reduce the pressure of the atmosphere below what the pressure of the water is, it will boil just as if we increase the temperature so that the pressure of the water goes up. So now we're at 300, 200, 200 millibar. So 0.2 of an atmosphere and still nothing is happening. It's not surprising. We're quite far below the boiling point of water and the temperature is not going up. It's not heated, it's just going down slowly. You can see probably it's 39 now. 100 and it starts to do things. If we zoom in we can see little bubbles rising. Not very much, so it's close to boiling as it would be if we heated it up. And we can see the temperature has gone down to maybe 38 partly due to the just loss of heat, but also partly due to the water evaporating and taking heat with it. As water evaporates, it takes a certain amount of energy, and so it gets colder. Oh, look, it's boiling. So now it's boiling at what the pump says is 50 millibar. And uh, if we look up here, we can see the temperature hasn't changed at all. So it's way below what the boiling point of water would be at atmospheric pressure, but it's not at atmospheric pressure. It's at 50 millibar, so 50 out of a thousand, and off it is boiling more normally. There's a piece of plastic in there to help it to boil without boiling all out of the hole. I've increased the pressure back to 100, and you can see it's slowed right down again. And it's not really boiling, it's going to stop. If we go up to 200, it stops completely and then we can go back down again and make it boil a second time. And this is all because the boiling point is not a magic point, it's when the pressure is equal to the pressure of the evaporating liquid. Then it can form a bubble underneath and so that just deter is determined by the outside pressure and the temperature. So we're now going back down again to make it boil a second time and we will see it do that and then we will stop and hopefully have learned something useful. Here it goes very slowly, I think I'm trying to turn it down slowly, back to a half and off it goes boiling again. Okay that'll do, you can see the temperature has gone down to 35 now and we will stop it there.